What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you a collectible slash questline guide for Taxi Chaos, and in this video I'm going to show you where to find all of the different characters, and their collectibles needed to finish the uh, character storylines, so the collectibles only appear once you find the character related to them, so we're going to be doing this in free mode, and I recommend having the fastest car in the game, just to make it a little easier, so I'm going to have timestamps in the description and the comments below to each of the uh, different characters and their quest lines slash collectibles, if you're just looking for a specific one. So I'm going to start off down here at the uh, shoreline, and off in the distance there you can see the Statue of Liberty, so I'm going to turn to the right, and up here on this uh, little roof right here, I'm going to jump up here using the uh, A button. And I'm going to back up and I'm going to jump onto another roof just over here. So again, you can jump using the A button. And we need to come up here and find this little secret character right here. He's like an alien. I believe his name is Elliot Tyler. So this is like part one to uh, one of the uh, character's quest lines. So we need to drop this guy off at the uh, location that he uh, wants to go to. So just follow the uh, red arrow on your screen. And it's going to point you in the direction that you need to head in. So... Just follow that arrow and be careful since you're on a timer, but uh, you should have plenty of time to uh, drop the uh, character off at the destination. So basically this is like part one, we need to uh, drop him off and then he's going to ask us to find him some collectibles. So basically we're going to have to find six collectibles in total and we're going to have to find each of the characters a total of three times and drop them off at their uh, destination. So after you drop him off, we're going to turn around <clears throat> and then we're going to take a right over here. And then we're going to take a left and basically we're going to follow this road all the way down until we get to the heliport. And basically you'll know you're going in the right direction if the uh, shoreline is on your right side. So again, just follow this road all the way down. And I'd also like to mention that my game may look slightly different than yours since I'm playing on a uh, previous version since I got the game early to uh, make this video for you guys. So I believe they added some new rock music and a couple of uh, new NPC characters. So just thought I'd mention that and <laughs> I'd also appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already since I worked very hard on making this uh, video. So once we get over here to the uh, heliport, we're going to go ahead and pick up collectible number one for Elliot Tyler. It's like some little mustache glasses thing. So pick that up and then again, we're going to uh, hug the uh, shoreline and head over here and behind this building on our right side right here down the uh, staircase is going to be collectible number two. Again, for Elliot Tyler, so uh, pick up that little mustache thing, and then we're going to back up and turn to our left, and collectible number three is just going to be over here across the street next to this building. So go ahead and pick up that one right over here, and now we have to uh, pick up Elliot Tyler for a second time. Alright, so from here, we're going to go forward, and we're going to follow this uh, road here, and then we're going to take a right turn into this little grassy area, and then we're going to go forward for a bit. And then uh, I believe we're going to take a left turn down here by these trees. So take a left turn and then head forward for a bit to the uh, fountain. So I'm going to do my best to explain the uh, directions and whatnot that I take. So hopefully uh, my talking doesn't get too annoyed, annoying. So here we're going to take a left at the uh, fountain and we need to do a little boost. And we're going to jump up here on this roof and keep driving, jump to the next roof and then jump to the next roof. So Again, that's pretty tricky, but it's not too hard. Again, you can use the A button to jump. So Elliot Tyler is up here, and we need to pick him up for the second time, and then take him to his uh, destination here. So I'm not going to do commentary over this part, since the uh, red arrow will point you in the uh, direction. But I am going to leave the, uh, the delivery part in the video, just because I thought, I don't know, I figured you guys would want to see me delivering them, just so it's not like confusing what I'm doing. So... Again, just uh, deliver this guy. Again, you're on a timer, so just be careful. So go ahead and deliver him, and I'll pick up the uh, commentary when we get to the uh, destination. Unfortunately, I have been unable to repair my Forgo Flax cloak and resume my human disguise. But once I do, I will be undetectable to species 456. I mean, my now to blend flawlessly with my fellow humans. All right, and now that we dropped him off, we're going to turn around and we're going to head down this uh, road here for a bit. So you should see the uh, park on your right side. So head down this road for a while here. And then eventually all the way down at the end, I believe we're going to take a left turn. So head all the way down here and then we're going to take a left turn and then we're going to take a right turn. And then I believe we're going to take another left turn and you should see the uh, construction zone. Take a right 
and then go straight all the way down to those trees there and then we're gonna take a little left turn past the uh, trees on the left side of them so to the left a bit and head down here and then we're gonna take a left turn and then uh, we're gonna take a right turn and then uh, you should see the uh, collectible here on the corner of this building so to the left pick that one up and then from there we're going to uh, turn to the right and I guess to the left and we're gonna follow this little windy road here and then we're gonna take a right turn and again we're gonna go forward for a bit here and then uh, we're going to jump up here and then uh, you want to uh, jump up to the next roof so jump up here and then you can do a little boost by holding the uh, triggers and do a speed boost and then jump up here and pick up that next collectible on the corner there I accidentally fell down because I had too much speed so once you collect that collectible drop down here and then we're gonna take a left turn on this road here and you should be over by this uh, bank type area and up here on top of this uh, bank or whatever this building is I'm not too sure what it is but up here on the platform is gonna be the next collectible so jump up here and pick up that collectible and then from there now we need to go pick up Elliot Tyler for the third time I believe so we're gonna head forward down this uh, road here for a bit so head all the way down here and uh, you should be kind of at the uh, skate park area and we're gonna take a right and then we're gonna follow this road all the way down to the uh, the end here and you want to kind of hug the uh, left side because there's gonna be an alley that we're gonna take so <clears throat> head all the way down here and uh, go through this little alley on the left side here and then we're gonna take a left turn and uh, there's going to be a building that we need to jump on, so hug the uh, this road here, and then jump up here, and then jump onto the uh, next one up here, and then jump all the way across, and again, Elliot Tyler is going to be up here, so now we need to uh, deliver him to the heliport, so again, just follow the arrow on screen, and I'm going to pick the uh, commentary back up after we drop him off at the destination. No need. I have been recalled by my parental unit. Recall? You mean, you're going home? For now, I must deliver a report on how the history of human artistic endeavor was affected by their lack of extra limbs or ergonoid tentacles. Wait, you came to Earth to do a book report on us? But you barely understand us at all. Indeed, I have done the bare minimum of research, then assumed complete mastery of the subject, as humans do. Ouch, but not unfair. My parental units will be here soon. Thank you, fellow human. All right, so hey, once we drop hey, uh, Elliot off hey, here at the heliport, you should get the human. greetings fellow human achievement for 100 gamer score for completing Elliot Tyler's quest line. So from here on, we're gonna do the uh, Nikki Sticks quest line. So she's gonna be over at the uh, shoreline, kind of near the uh, Statue of Liberty area. So we're going to head over here and again hug the uh, shoreline and she's going to be in the uh, grass over here. So right over here. So go ahead and pick this uh, Nikki stick scroll up. She should be wearing like a uh, pink uh, jacket. So go ahead and uh, follow the uh, red arrow and drop her off at the destination. And then I'll pick the uh, commentary back up. You sure you're okay with that? It's an interesting place. All the better, man. <laughs> this tour is all about interesting places. Hey, wait a minute. I know you from somewhere. Maybe this will jog your memory. You gotta rock the locks! Oh my word, your stick Nikki. From Nikki and the Sticks. The hair metal band from the 80s? The 80s? We never stopped rocking. The only thing that changed was the hairspray brand. I'll be sure to call when I need another pickup. Taxi! All right, so next up, we need to find some hairspray for Nikki. So we're going to take a left here at the construction site, and we're going to go through this little alleyway here <clears throat> and up this little hill. And then we're going to continue down the road here over, over here. to the uh, shoreline all the way down there. So just uh, keep heading forward to the uh, shoreline, <clears throat> and we're going to drive to the uh, heliport where we dropped Elliot off. And just to the right of the uh, heliport is going to be the first hairspray. So head all the way down here again with the shoreline on your left side and then once you get to the heliport here we're going to take a right turn up the stairs and you're going to see this uh, little hairspray bottle here so go ahead and pick that up and then now we're going to continue down the uh, shoreline to a little circular brick building kind of near the uh, statue of liberty area so just over here past the uh, grassy area 
we need to go inside this uh, circular brick building right here. And the next hairspray is going to be on top of this uh, little hut thing right here. So just uh, jump up here and pick that up. I'm going to show you it again just in case you missed it. So right up here on this uh, little, little hut thing, whatever it is. So from there, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this area. And we're going to take a left turn into the uh, grass here. And then we're going to take a right turn onto this uh, road right over here. And we're going to continue down this road for a bit. And then uh, we're going to take a right turn all the way down here. And then a left turn. And then continue down the road for a bit. And we're going to jump over this little uh, wall here. And you should be by the uh, fountain area. And just across the street over here is going to be the next uh, hairspray. So go ahead and pick that one up. And now we need to uh, pick Nikki up. So she's going to be back at the... Uh, hotel or whatever it was that we dropped her off at so i'm gonna turn around and go back towards the uh, fountain area and then i'm gonna take a left onto this road right here and i'm gonna drive straight for a bit and then i'm going to take a right turn and then a left turn and i'm gonna go straight for a bit and then i'm going to take a left turn into this little uh, curvy road right here and then i'm gonna take a right turn and then I'm going to take a left turn. And again, if you know where the uh, hotel is, you really don't need to uh, listen to my directions. But I'm going to uh, head down this road and then take a right turn. And then take a left turn. And Nikki's going to be on the left side of the road at the uh, hotel here. So go ahead and pick her up. And then follow the red arrow on screen. And deliver her to the destination. And I'll pick the uh, commentary back up once we get there. Take me to the grandpa's style store. So... You here on tour with the band? Yep. Going to get some pre-ripped pantyhose and 80s shoulder pads for tonight's performance. So I gotta ask, if you're touring, why are you staying in that crappy hotel? I mean, Nikki and the Sticks are a big deal. Aren't there any luxury hotels with rooms to trash? Nah, we don't want any of that fake stuff. Staying in a dive reminds us of where we came from, you know? It keeps it real, and that's so important. I'll be sure to call when I need another pickup. All right, so after we drop Nikki off, we need to go collect some more hairspray. So we're going to turn around and then take a right onto this uh, main road here. And we're going to follow it straight for a bit. And the park should be on your right side. And eventually, we're going to take the uh, first left that we can. So down here, we're going to take a left. And then again, we're just going to follow this road all the way down to the uh, noodle shop, I believe. So just keep heading straight. And then eventually, you're going to see the noodle shop on your left. And we're going to take a left turn here. And again, follow this road for a bit. And then uh, there should be a huge court courtyard on your right side over here. So take a right into this courtyard. And the uh, first hairspray is going to be right here. So go ahead and pick that one up. And then we're going to take a left back onto the uh, main road. And we're going to take a right. And we're going to continue down the uh, main road for a bit here. And you should see the uh, construction zone right here. And we're going to have to do a little tricky jump. So you want to back up, get some speed. And you're going to notice the cut since I failed the jump. So you want to get some speed and jump up here onto this uh, second floor with the staircase here. And then you can't just drive up the staircase or else it's going to or else it's going to reset you. So you have to like jump like crazy like I'm doing here. So make your way up the uh, two different staircases here. And uh, you want to pick up this uh, hairspray bottle up here. So again, you can see I'm having some issues. So pick up that hairspray bottle right there. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to jump across to the uh, building or the roof over here right about there so we're gonna do a little boost and we're gonna jump over here to this roof and again if you failed the jump that's perfectly okay it's not actually needed we're gonna drop off the side of the building here and right here on this roof is gonna be hairspray number three so again if you failed the jump that's per perfectly okay you can get the hairspray from down here on the road just uh jump just like that and pick up that hairspray right there and now we need to go pick up nikki so we're gonna head back and we're gonna uh head down this uh road here that we originally came down where it came from whatever so uh we're gonna head past the uh noodle shop again on the right side here through this little alley and then we're gonna take a right turn and continue down this uh road here and then we're gonna take a right turn at the uh little park area right here and again we're gonna drive all the way down this uh road here <clears throat> and just keep driving and then we're going to take a left turn. And I believe Nikki's going to be at that uh, thrift shop where we left her at. So all the way down here. 
and then on the uh, left side in front of that thrift store. So go ahead and pick her up and then follow the red arrow and drop her off at the destination as usual. And I will pick the uh, commentary back up once we reach the destination. Can you hurry it up a bit? Curtain calls in 10 minutes. How come your band doesn't have a tour bus to get around? We had one, we trashed it. Look, we're a glam hair metal band. I don't know what you expect from us. Looking forward to the show tonight? Always. Atmosphere's electric. Gotta breathe all that in. Then start coughing out the hairspray fumes. <laughs> All right, so once we drop uh, Nikki off here, we're going to get the Shredding Through Traffic Achievement for 25 Gamer Score. And then next up, we're going to go ahead and pick up the Extreme Mascot. So after we drop Nikki off, you're going to get that achievement. And then from there, we're going to turn to the right here. And we're going to head down this road here for a bit. And then we're going to take a right turn eventually right here and then just on the corner here is going to be the uh extreme protein mascot or whatever so go ahead and pick them up and then from there you can just follow the red arrow on screen until you get to the destination and as usual i'll pick the uh commentary back up once we get there extreme for the protein team that escalated quickly sorry i'm the mascot for extreme protein they're sponsoring a skateboard i'm supposed to be there Handing out free samples. Rep the brand. That kind of thing. Free samples. Just keep it extreme for the protein team. All right, so now we need to get some protein bars. So we're going to turn around here and head down this road for quite a bit. So just uh, keep heading straight for a while here. And then eventually we're going to take a right turn at the weird like theater or whatever it is. I honestly don't remember. But this uh, weird building right here. We're going to take a right turn and then a left turn and we're going to head forward and then we're going to take a right turn and then we're going to head forward and you should actually see the uh, collectible up here on the left side corner right here. So go ahead and pick up that protein bar and then from there we're going to head forward again over towards the uh, construction zone here and we're going to take a left at the construction zone and then a right here and then again a left and you should see the, uh, the protein bar right here on the corner of the construction zone. And then we're going to turn to the right, and I believe we're going to head through this little secret alley. No, we're not. We're going to take a right, and then a left, and then uh, we're going to continue down this road, and then take a right, and then take a left, and then continue forward to this uh, grassy tree area here. And just behind this building here, at the uh, back left right here, is going to be the next protein bar. And then from there, we can go ahead and pick up the extreme mascot again. So we're going to head over here to the right and head down this road. And then we're going to take a right to the shoreline and the uh, mascot's actually going to be down here at the shoreline. So head down this staircase here and then right over here at the shoreline, we're going to pick up the uh, mascot. And then as usual, Hello. just go ahead and drop them off at the uh, location and I will pick the commentary back up once we get there. Oh, hey, I remember you. Jump in. So where are you off to this time? The three-pointer courts, please. Whoa, you sound as different. All right, so now we need to find some more protein bars. So we're gonna go forward here and uh, we're gonna go over by towards the uh, thrift shop. So right here where we picked up Nikki, we're gonna take a right turn and the uh, collectible is gonna be up here on the ledge. So jump up here, I actually landed right on it. So just uh, jump up here on the roof and pick that one up. And then from there, you can drop back down and then we're gonna take a right turn here and then go straight for a bit. And then we're gonna take another right turn and we're gonna head down this uh, main road here with the uh, grassy park on our right side here. So keep heading down this road for a bit. 
and then just hope oh, I crashed and then uh, keep heading down the road for a bit and on the right here at this little uh, art museum or whatever it is there's gonna be a little protein bar right there so go ahead and pick that up and then from there we're gonna take a left onto this road here and then we're gonna take a right here and we're gonna uh, take a left right over here past the uh, coffee shop and then a right into this little alleyway in here and the next protein bar is going to be right in here so go ahead and pick that one up and now we need to go pick up the mascot up again so after picking that one up we can uh, continue forward here and we're going to take a left turn and then we're going to go forward towards the uh, park here and then we're actually going to go into the park and the mascot is going to be all the way over here past this uh, giant statue and past the uh, little baseball area or whatever that is so all the way back here we're gonna pick up the uh, mascot and then from there we can go ahead and follow the uh, red arrow as usual and uh, I'll pick up the commentary once we get to the destination Alright, so once you drop the uh, mascot off, you're going to get the Extreme Protein Achievement for 10 Gamer Score for completing the Extreme Mascots quest. And then from there, I believe we're going to go pick up Jerry Jones. So after you get that achievement, we're going to uh, head forward, I believe. Yep, we're going to head forward here down this road for a bit. And then I believe we're going to take a left turn. And then we're going to head forward all the way down to the end of the road here. And then we're going to take a right turn and you should be over by the uh, shoreline area. So we're going to go forward down this uh, road here for a bit. And then eventually we're going to take a right turn, but not just yet. So keep going down this road here. And then uh, over here, we're going to take a right turn right over here. And we're going to pick up Jerry Jones. He's wearing like a uh, suit here with, a, I believe, a blue tie. So pick him up and then uh, go ahead and drop him off at the uh, destination. And again, as usual, I'll pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so now we need to pick up some uh, briefcases. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna head down this uh, road here for a bit. And then we're gonna take a right turn towards the uh, park. And then we're gonna turn left and we're gonna follow this road for a little bit here. And then uh, down here, we're gonna take a right turn. And then uh, you should be uh, facing like a little ramp area right over here. And we're actually gonna go up that ramp right here to our right. So. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna get some speed and I'm gonna ramp up here and jump and you should land up here and right here to the uh, right on the corner of the uh, platform here is gonna be the uh, first briefcase so go ahead and pick that up and then we're gonna head back down the uh, ramp where we came up and we're gonna drive down this uh, main road here for a bit so drive all the way down here for a while here and then uh, we're gonna uh, jump over this little area right through there and you should see the fountain in front of you so head in here and then we're going to take a left over here on this road past the fountain and we're going to drive straight for a bit and then we're going to take a right and you should be over by the uh i think this is like a bank or something with some trees in front of it so we're going to take a left here and the briefcase is going to be right here in front of the uh, building so go ahead and pick that up and then from there we're going to take a right through the uh, trees here and head down this road over here and then again it looks like another bank right there we're going to drive past it over here down the road and then on the uh, left side over here is going to be the uh, third briefcase so go ahead and pick that one up and then now we need to go pick up the uh, jerry jones guy again so head forward up the uh, staircase here 
and then again we're gonna follow this uh, shoreline here all the way down the uh, the road or whatever so just keep following this uh, shoreline here and then uh, basically we're going down the uh, usual path and we're gonna follow this road here all the way down so just keep going straight for a bit and I believe we're gonna pass the uh, noodle shop but not just yet so all the way down here we're going to uh, take a right turn and then a left turn and keep going straight for a bit and then take a left turn and then a right turn and I believe we're gonna go straight past the uh, noodle shop here so keep going straight and then take a right through the uh, grassy area next to the noodle shop through this uh, alley back here and then take a right turn right up here and then uh, follow this road and Jerry's gonna be over here on the uh, right side so go ahead and pick him up and as usual just uh, follow the red arrow and I'll pick the commentary back up once we get there Alright, so now we need to get some more uh, briefcases, so we're going to turn around and head back down the uh, usual route here, all the way down this uh, road here, and eventually we're going to pass the uh, noodle shop, so head all the way down here, take a right, and then take a left, and follow this road all the way down to the end, and then take a left turn, and then we're going to take a right turn, and we're going to follow this road all the way down to the, uh, the noodle shop, so head all the way down here. And then, as usual, we'll take a right through the uh, grassy area next to the noodles shop or whatever this place is. And then uh, into this alley. And then take a right. And we're actually going to jump onto this building up here in front of us with the uh, cat face. So jump up here. And then again, we need to uh, jump up again right through here. So jump up here. And there's going to be a briefcase up here. So jump up here and get that briefcase. Drop down here. And then just to our right, there's going to be a secret little alleyway here. And we're going to pick up the uh, briefcase. So right now I'm just basically showing you the uh, area that I'm in. So turn into here and then uh, pick up this briefcase right here. And then uh, we can back out of here. And I believe the next one is going to be over by the uh, protein building with that uh, like red ramp that we ramped up. So we're going to turn around at the uh, coffee shop right here. And we're going to head down this road for a bit. Take a right towards the uh, park here. And then we're going to take a left. And we're going to head forward for a bit. And you should see like a little water fountain right about now and we're going to take a right turn here at the water fountain and head straight and again you should see that little uh area with the ramp right over here so take a left and you should see the ramp right here and we need to ramp up this ramp again i just said ramp so many times so we're going to head up this ramp here and jump onto this building here and up here we're going to look to the right and just over there you can actually uh jump onto that building so we're going to do a little boost here again you can hold your left and right trigger to uh, get a boost jump up here and then turn to your left and right up here on this building is going to be the next briefcase. So go ahead and pick that one up. And now we need to go uh, pick Jerry up again. So I'm going to drop down here. And uh, he's actually on top of the laundry mat where we dropped him off at. So we're going to head down this main road here and follow it all the way down to the uh, big water fountain down here. So just keep going straight all the way down here to the uh, water fountain. And then on the other side of the street past the water fountain, we're going to take a left onto the road. And then uh, we're going to continue forward a bit, turn right, and then continue forward past the uh, the tree area here. And then we're going to take a right turn, and then a left here. And we're going to basically head towards the uh, shoreline. And uh, there's a laundry mat back here, and he's going to be on top of the building. So head all the way out here towards the shoreline, and just uh, follow it to the left here. And you might be able to see the uh, laundry mat eventually. Not just yet, so just keep following this uh, road here for a bit. Eventually, we're going to see the laundry mat, but we need to jump on top of it, so we're going to actually uh, take a left turn, I believe, in a second. So right here at the laundry mat, take a left, and then to the right, you can see the uh, jumpable roof here. So jump up here, and Jerry's going to be right up here, so go ahead and pick him up, and then uh, take him to the uh, destination. 
And as usual, I will pick up the commentary once we get there. Alright, so once we drop Jerry off, we're going to get the infuriating intern achievement for 10 gamer scores. So from here, we're going to go ahead and pick up Sandy Miller. So we're going to turn around and we're going to head towards the uh, shoreline. And she's going to be in the uh, grass towards the uh, shoreline. So we're going to turn around, head all the way down this road here. And uh, eventually, we're going to uh, cut through the uh, little area there and just keep heading down this uh, road here. And we're going to take a right turn and then a left turn. And uh, keep heading towards the uh, shoreline here. And we're going to take a left and jump over that little wall here. And we're going to head past the trees. And then we're going to head down this road. And then take a bit of a right turn and keep heading forward. And then uh, we're going to come to the uh, shoreline down here. And then we're going to turn to the right. And all the way over here in the uh, grassy area is going to be Sandy Miller. So we're going to go ahead and pick her up right over here. So <clears throat> go ahead and pick her up and then take her to the uh, destination. And I'll pick up the commentary once we get there. Howdy. Mind taking me to Aonian Square? I got a weird question for you. What's the most touristy thing you'd recommend doing in a new city? Honestly, going to Aonian Square is a great stuff. So is that teacher. I guess you could grab some silly souvenirs like the keychain of the Regal State Tower. That sounds like the corniest, most ridiculous. Thanks, friend. All right, so now we're going to pick up some uh, keychains for Sandy Miller. So head forward here, and then we're going to take a left turn, and then a right turn, and then another right turn, and you should be next to the uh, park area. And just over here is going to be the first keychain. So go ahead and pick that one up, and then continue down the road. And we're going to take a left turn over here, ignore that achievement. And then, excuse me, we're going to take a right turn into this little street here. And then we're going to take a left turn towards this uh, coffee shop. So head forward for a bit. And then on the uh, right here is going to be the uh, second keychain. So go ahead and pick that one up. And then from there, we're going to head forward. And we're going to take a right turn and head down towards the uh, noodle shop down here. So head down here and then take a left past the uh, noodle shop. And continue down this road for a bit. And eventually, we're going to come to the uh, construction area down here. And we're going to continue going forward. And then we're going to cut through this uh, little alleyway right here. So take a left turn, head up the ramp. And then continue forward all the way down to the uh, shoreline down there. And basically, we're going to drive past the uh, heliport that's all the way down here. So continue down the road here. And we're going to pass the uh, laundry mat on our right side. And uh, just continue all the way down here past the uh, heliport. So make your way all the way down here. And apologies for the cut. Apparently, I forgot where the uh, collectible was. But we just want to make our way all the way down towards the uh, Statue of Liberty kind of area down here. And the collectible is going to be in the uh, grassy area where we actually picked her up at. So right over here where we originally picked her up at is going to be that third keychain. Let's go ahead and pick that one up. And now we can go back and pick up uh, Sandy Miller. So now we're basically going to go back all the way we came. Her back the way we came. So just uh, head back, follow the uh, shoreline as usual. And make your way all the way back. <laughs> so again, just keep following the uh, shoreline. And we're literally going to use the exact same path that we uh, took to get here. So head all the way back down the road. And we're going to take that little shortcut alleyway over here again. So just uh, continue all the way over here. And then take that little shortcut here on the left side. And you should be at the uh, construction area. So continue down the uh, road here to the noodle shop. And then we're going to take a right turn at the uh, noodle shop through the uh, grassy area. So right over here, take a right through the grass and then into this little alley here. And then we're going to take another right turn and head down this road here. And then we're going to take a left into this little uh, street here next to the coffee shop. And we're going to pick up Sandy Miller and then we can go ahead and take her to the uh, destination. And as usual, I will pick up the commentary once we get there. You know, if 
you want an authentic souvenir of the city, I know someone who... Oh, no. Nothing authentic. Sorry. Wait, what? Trust me. I know it sounds... Thanks, friend. Over here. All right, so now we need to get some more uh, keychains, so we're going to turn around and we're going to head all the way down this road here, so these collectibles are going to start getting a little bit more tricky, so just uh, be, pre be prepared for that, so make your way all the way down here, and we're going to take a left turn, and we're going to head down towards the uh, skate park, but we're going to take a right turn right here into this open little grassy courtyard area, and all the way back here in the back left is going to be the uh, keychain. And then from there, we're going to turn around and we're actually going to jump onto the uh, building right in front of us with the uh, little red like roofs or whatever you want to call those. So jump up here and we need to uh, turn around here and back up so we can get a boost. And we're going to do a boost and we're going to jump on top of this uh, roof here. So jump up here and then we need to jump up to the uh, upper level again. So jump up here and then we're going to uh, drive all the way over there to the uh, next roof. So we're gonna have to get some speed here and we're gonna drop down and then jump so drop down jump and then break and stop yourself and then we're gonna jump over to the uh, next roof here so just do a little baby jump jump and then again we're gonna uh, do another boost here so hold your triggers boost and jump up here and then break careful not to fall off like I almost did and we're gonna line ourselves up to that little uh, tower right there and you can see the collectibles on that tower so this is very tricky so we're gonna back ourselves into this corner here do a little boost jump and then grab that collectible and it's okay if you fall off but we actually need to be up there a second time because there's another one up there so since we fell off we're gonna go redo that whole process so head back over here and we're gonna jump back up and basically just repeat the uh, same process that we just did so again just uh, boost and you're going to notice a cut there because I accidentally ended up messing up. So this is pretty hard. So basically, just make your way back up to where we were before we did that jump to the tower. And uh, just make your way up to these roofs here. And uh, we're going to drop down to another building in a second. So just uh, once you get up here, we're actually going to drive off and jump to the next building right over here. So jump across and then do like a little baby jump up to here. And then now we're going to need a lot of speed. So uh, back up. Try not to fall off or anything. And then do a boost. And up here is going to be the collectible. So jump up here. And pick up that uh, last hairspray. Or I guess it was the keychain. Sorry. So pick up that keychain. And now we can go pick up Sandy Miller for the uh, final time here. So once you do that, there's going to be... I think that was probably the hardest set of collectibles. So once you do that, you shouldn't have any more worries really. So pick up those two now we need to go pick up sandy so we're going to drive down this road here and we're going to take a right towards the uh, shoreline here and she's going to be in the uh, circular brick building down towards the uh, statue of liberty or whatever so just drive all the way down here towards the uh, shoreline and whatnot or actually i'm wrong she's going to be right over here so apologies for that she's going to be right in here so uh pick her up and then uh follow the arrow and drop her off at the destination Alright, so once we drop Sandy off, you're going to get the Tourist Trap Achievement for completing Sandy Miller's questline. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and pick up Jack Mouse. And he's actually over here in the park on a little island. So we're going to go forward a bit over towards the uh, next uh, character here. And apologies, the audio is actually, uh, there's no audio for this section or this character. Because I accidentally turned my audio down and I completely forgot until I uh, put my headset back on. So apologies for that, guys. So... Pick up uh, Jack Mouse there on the uh, little island there in the uh, park. And now we're going to go ahead and send him to the uh, 
the destination or whatever. So I'm going to stop the commentary again. Apologies, guys. This part does not have audio because I was stupid. And for some reason, I was like watching a movie while eating my food. And I didn't want to listen to the music that the game was uh, putting out. So my idea was to turn down the master volume in the game. And then when I came back, I didn't realize that I had turned the audio down. So this whole section has no audio. So apologies for that, guys. But I do, I do figure it out. I do turn it back on for the uh, next character. So I just, uh, Thought I'd let you know. Apologies for the no audio, but it shouldn't really be any issues since you guys have your own audio and whatnot. So just uh, follow the arrow and drop this guy off over here. All right, so now we need to find some coffee cups. So we're going to turn around and we're going to head towards the uh, skate park over here. So head down the uh, shoreline here. And then uh, we're going to take a right and then a left. And we're going to head past the uh, skate park over here. And we're going to follow this uh, road on the uh, left side over here all the way down. So just keep heading down this road all the way to the end. And then once we get to the end, we're going to take a right turn. So basically right now we're going towards the, uh, the park with all the trees and whatnot. So head all the way down here. And then we're going to take a right turn. And then we're going to take a left turn. And then we're going to take a right turn. <laughs> And then we're going to take a left turn here and then a right turn and then a left turn to the park over here. So you should now be at the uh, park and we're going to head in here and the uh, first copy coffee cup is going to be over here. So jump across this gap here and just keep driving into the uh, park. And then eventually over here is going to be the uh, coffee cup right here next to this uh, rock. So go ahead and pick that one up and then we're going to head straight in the uh, same direction. And uh, the next coffee cup is going to be over here towards the uh, left turn right here. So turn to the left and then at the uh, corner of the park over here is going to be the next coffee cup right there. And then we can turn to the right and uh, the next one's going to be over by the uh, thrift store. If you know where that is. So head up these stairs here and then take a right turn and head straight and the uh, thrift store is over here. And we're going to turn to the right. I accidentally missed my turn. So turn to the right into this little... Uh, area over here and the coffee cup is going to be on the left side and then from there we need to uh, pick up Jack Mouse or whatever his name is so I believe he's actually going to be on the uh, rooftop over here so head up this staircase here and then turn to the left and then if you turn to the left again there's going to be a building you can jump on top of so right over here so jump up here and then jump on to this uh, higher up bit and then turn to the left and he's going to be right up here. So go ahead and pick him up and then drop him off at the destination. And I will pick up the commentary again once we get there. And again, apologies for the uh, no audio. As soon as we're done with this uh, character and haul all of his collectibles, the audio will be back to normal. So apologies for that, guys. All right, so we just dropped them off and now we need to find some more coffee. So we're going to go forward and then we're going to take a right here and then a left and we're going to head forward for a bit and then we're going to uh, head all the way down this road and then I believe we're going to take a right turn. So head down here and then we're going to cut through this uh, little secret alleyway here on the left side and then we're going to take a left turn and follow this road and we're going to jump on top of the uh, building up here. So jump on these uh, two buildings. So jump once jump twice and then stop and we need to uh, jump over there to that building there on the uh, left side and there's actually two ways to get on this building you can jump across from here and if you don't make it you can just use that uh, scaffolding on the uh, right side I'll show you that in a second so jump over here pick up that coffee cup and if you need a second way to get up here you can use this scaffolding right here so that's another way to get up there if you didn't make the jump so from there we're gonna head down here take a right turn and the uh, park should be in front of you and then from there, we're going to take a left turn and we're going to head all the way down this road here. So head all the way down here. And the next coffee cup is actually on the uh, roofs to our right right now. So we're going to head up this uh, staircase here and we're going to jump up the uh, roof right here like we did before. So jump up here and this time we're going to turn to the right. 
and we need to jump over here onto these roofs and then again jump over to the uh, next set over here and the coffee cup is going to be on the edge of the building right over here so uh, pick this one up and then from there you can uh, turn around and we're going to drop off towards the uh, basketball court area right over here so drop down <clears throat> and then uh just uh, continue down this road straight here and you're going to see like a little staircase down here like a raised area right over here so head over here and pick up this uh, coffee cup here and once you do that we need to uh, pick up the guy again so he's going to be on the roof in the uh, the same location that we picked him up last time so head over here down this road and head straight up the uh, staircase over here and then we're going to take a left turn and again we're going to jump onto this uh, building right here so jump up here and then jump onto the uh, little raised bit right here. And then he's going to be in that usual spot. Or actually, he's going to be on the other side where we picked up the uh, coffee cup. So it's going to be over here where we picked up that second coffee cup. So go ahead and pick him up and then uh, take him to the destination. And I'll pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so go ahead and drop him off and then we're gonna get the maple or mainstream versus maple achievement for 50 gamer score for completing the jack mouse quest line and next up we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, Risa Lopez character out of the way so what do you know the uh, audio's back so now we can go ahead and pick up Risa Lopez so we're gonna head over here and we're gonna drive down this road here and then we're gonna take a left over here and then we're gonna take a right turn and head forward for a bit and then we're gonna take a left turn and we're gonna head forward all the way to the uh, fountain area here and she's gonna be next to the uh, fountain by the hot dog stand right over here so go ahead and pick her up <clears throat> and then send her to the uh, location or the destination whatever you want to call it and I will pick up the commentary once we get there let me sit down on the seat and oh no What's wrong? Ah, uh, the whole gag is ruined. I'm never going to be a success at this rate. I'm not getting it. I'm a comedian. Well, trying to be. I was setting up for a really funny joke, but I'm missing the most important part. Uh, the setup? The punchline? The context? No, the whoopee cushion. How can you have comedy without a whoopee cushion? I'm beginning to get an idea why cushion, you're struggling to find to success up. in the comedy circuit. All right, so now we need to get some whoopee cushions for Risa Lopez. So we're gonna continue down this road here until we get to the construction zone. So head all the way down here. And then once we get right about here, we're gonna take a right turn and go forward a bit. And then we're gonna take a left turn and we're gonna continue forward to those trees over there. So continue forward and then we're gonna take a right turn. And on the corner of this uh, little grassy area is gonna be the uh, whoopee cushion. So go ahead and pick that up. And then continue forward to the right a bit down this uh, road over here. So head down here. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. Sorry, guys. Head down this road. Take a left and then take a right into this little alley here. And we actually need to uh, turn around because the next one's going to be on a hidden roof up here. So turn around and then jump up here on this uh, roof. So jump up here. And then again, we need to uh, turn to the right and jump onto another roof over here. So this one's kind of tricky. You're going to see me fail it. So you want to jump up here and pick up that whoopee cushion right there. So you're gonna see I failed the first time. So I decided to uh, readjust and jump to the right a bit more. So jump up here and pick up this uh, whoopee cushion right there. And then from there, <clears throat> we can drop down to the uh, fountain area down here. And the next whoopee cushion is gonna be under this uh, little tower thing right here. So go ahead and pick that one up. And now we need to go pick up Risa again. So uh, apologies for the uh, delay here. I was reading my notes. So we're gonna go forward and we're gonna jump up here and continue down this uh, road here and just keep heading all the way down here and then we're gonna take a right turn and then we're gonna take a left turn and then we're gonna take a right turn and continue forward a bit and then a left turn here 
and then we're going to uh, pick her up over on the left side of the road here so go ahead and pick her up and then from there you can go ahead and take her to the destination and I will pick up the commentary once we get there oh it's you again could you give me a lift to Freedom Park I found a whoopee cushion for you oh thanks so much I couldn't do my act without it I just flew in from somewhere and boy are my arms tired Over here. Zaxi, over here. All right, so now we're gonna head forward onto this road over here next to the park, and we're gonna continue down here, and then we're gonna take a right, and we're actually gonna jump on top of a building up here. So, right over here, you wanna jump up here, and then uh, get some speed and jump across to the uh, next little roof over here, and then follow this path up here to this uh, building up here. There's gonna be a series of jumps. And then we're going to turn to the left and we need to jump across over to this uh, small little ledge over here. So uh, get some speed and then jump over here. And there's actually going to be two whoopee cushions over here on this uh, these two roofs. So take a right turn over here and then you want to get some speed. And you can see the first whoopee cushion is on the uh, corner of this building. And then the second one is on the corner of the other building right over here. So pick up that first one and then jump across to this building here and pick up this one right here and uh, that should be two of them so now we need to get one more so I'm gonna turn around towards the uh, construction area here and the next one is gonna be right here in the uh, construction area and it's just gonna be right on top of that white little uh, building thing there so you're gonna see me fail to uh, collect it so just go ahead and get that one and then once you collect that one we can go ahead and pick up Risa again so she's gonna be all the way down towards the uh, shoreline so head down this road here and uh, continue towards these uh, trees and just keep going forward and you can go through this little grassy area here and off to the right a tiny bit and just continue down here and through this little grassy area again and then take a right turn and then a left turn and follow this road here and then take another left turn and then continue forward and a slight right turn and then continue forward all the way down to the uh, shoreline and she's going to be in this uh, circular brick building right in here where a collectible was at one point. So head in here and then pick her up and go ahead and take her to the uh, destination. And I will pick up the uh, commentary once we're there. The obelisk. Quick. Get ready. Hello. They're kicking me out. Time to try Freedom Park. Found those whoopee cushions of yours, I hear. Uh, no, that was just me. So, how did the trial run of your stand-up routine go? Pretty good. People thought I was a busker and gave me money. Well, that's pretty impressive. I mean, they were paying me to go away, but it's progress, right? Oh, yeah. I'm excited for your sold out world tour. Hi, excited. I'm Mom. Today, the corner of Freedom Park. Tomorrow. Alright, so once you drop her off, you should get the Just Smile and Wave achievement for 25 gamer score for completing the Risa Lopez questline. And next up, we're going to do Jose Rodriguez. So he's going to be over towards the uh, basketball court. So head forward past this uh, park area. And uh, he's going to be over here just on the left side of the uh, basketball court right here. So go ahead and pick him up and then take him to the uh, destination. And I will pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so now we need to find some lucky clovers or whatever. So we're gonna head forward and we're gonna take a left turn and then another left turn here. And we're gonna continue forward down this road and we're gonna drive through this uh, grassy area with the trees. So continue forward down this uh, main road here for a bit 
all the way down to the end. And then once we get to the end, I believe we're going to take a right turn. So head over here, take a right turn at the uh, construction zone here. And then we're going to take a left turn. And then uh, we're going to continue down this road towards the, uh, the noodle shop here. So as usual, we're going to take a right through the grass next to the uh, shop here. And then head through this little alleyway. And then we're going to take a right turn. And the first clover is going to be right here under the scaffolding. So go ahead and pick that one up. And then from there, we're going to head towards the uh, basketball court. So just uh, follow this road here. And then uh, eventually, we're going to take a right turn. So head over here, take the uh, right turn, and then continue down this road here. And we're going to head towards the basketball court. So head over here, and then take a left turn. And then the uh, basketball court is going to be over here on our right side. So turn over here, and then you can actually see the, uh, the clover right there next to the uh, basketball court. So go ahead and pick that one up so pick this one up and then to our right is going to be the other one or actually we're gonna have to turn around so turn around like this and then we're gonna have to jump onto this roof over here and the next one's gonna be up here so jump up here and then pick up that uh clover here and now we need to go ahead and pick up the uh, guy again and he's actually gonna be in the uh the center of the uh the park so go ahead and drop down and uh we're gonna go towards the uh, park here now so Head over here into the uh, grassy park. And he's going to be all the way over here. So just uh, head over here. You can drive through the water and everything. So now we need to find him. So I actually get confused for a second where he was. He's to my left or behind me right now. So once you find him, go ahead and pick him up and then uh, take him to the destination. And I will pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so now we need to find some more four leaf clovers. So we're gonna continue forward and then turn to the right here. And then we're gonna turn to the right again and we're gonna head down this road a bit. And then we're gonna turn to the uh, left into this fountain area over here. And then uh, we're gonna take a right onto this main road here. And then we're gonna head up the stairs and continue forward all the way down. And uh, just keep continuing forward. And then I believe we're gonna use the, uh, the ramp over here. So jump up this ramp onto the uh, platform up here. <clears throat> and then we need to uh, jump over to the uh, building on the uh, right side over here so boost up here and jump up here and then uh, turn to the left and jump on the uh, slightly raised platform here and then we need to turn to the right and right over there you can see the uh, clover so back up get some speed here do a little boost and then jump across and pick up that uh, clover there so from there you can go ahead and drop down and the next clover is going to be in the uh, park over here so head over here and it's actually going to be on like a little bridge area with some uh, fencing next to it. So head over here and then uh, head up this little hill here and pick up the clover. You can actually break the uh, metal fence. For some reason, I thought you weren't, you weren't able to break the fence. So I decided to jump. But you can actually just drive right through the fence and pick that one up easily. So from there, we need to uh, head forward kind of towards the uh, basketball court, I believe. So head over here and uh, onto this uh, road over here and then just continue forward. And uh, all the way down here and then we're gonna head up this uh, staircase here and then we're gonna jump onto this roof up here so jump up here and then jump onto this roof and then we're gonna turn over here and we're gonna jump across over to where that uh, we picked up that one guy and the uh, collectible is gonna be over here on the uh, corner of the building so go ahead and pick this one up and then now we need to pick up the uh, guy for the final time and uh, I'm not actually sure where he is. Let's see. He's going to be over this way. So drop down and then drive down this road here. And he's actually going to be over by the ramen shop. So we're going to head all the way over here, kind of towards the uh, the ramen shop. So head down this main road here. And then we're going to take the uh, first left when it's possible to. So take the uh, first left right here. 
and follow this road and he's actually going to be in the little alleyway right by the uh the ramen shop so head down here take a left and he's going to be right here in this little alley so go ahead and pick him up and then take him to the destination and as usual i'll pick up the uh, commentary once we get there you know the drill so what happened this time nothing dramatic i was just doing some diy at the family restaurant uh-huh nothing big just replacing a cabinet and there was a ladder involved i'm sure you can figure out the Maybe you should call in a professional and give me a bad luck. Oh, please, given my luck, they'd stiff me. We'd get in a fight, and they'd break my arm anyway. This cuts out the middle. Okay, now to carefully. All right, so once we drop him off, we're going to get the castaway achievement for 10 gamer score for completing the Jose Rodriguez questline. And next up, we're going to go ahead and pick up Emma Ventura, or whatever her name is. So she's over by the uh, shoreline, so... We're gonna head all the way down to the uh, water and she's gonna be in the grass on the far right side so follow this road down here all the way to the uh, shoreline so just can you continue down here take a right and she's gonna be all the way over on the uh, right side so all the way over here she's actually not in the grass she's gonna be on the, uh, the right side down here so go ahead and pick her up and then take her to the, to the uh, destination and as usual I'll pick up the uh, commentary once we get there Regal State Tower on the double. Sorry, can you please drive faster? I'm missing a break in story. Huh? I am a reporter and there's an event going on at Regal State Tower that I need to cover. Don't you usually have news vans and cameras for that kind of thing? Look, I just went to get one bagel. How was I supposed to know someone gotta get that scoop? Excuse me. All right, so now we need to pick up some uh, cameras. So we're gonna turn around and we're gonna drive through this uh, grassy area here and we're gonna head forward and the first camera is gonna be on our right side over here. So head over here and pick up this camera right here on the corner of the building. And then from there, we're gonna turn to the left and drive down this road here. And then we're gonna uh, come out towards the uh, shoreline here. And then we're gonna turn to the right and we're basically just gonna follow this uh, shoreline all the way down to the uh, circular stone building where we picked up that one lady so head all the way down here and uh, the next collectible is going to be beside that building so just follow this road and then drive through the grass over here and the next camera is going to be right next to this building here so go ahead and pick this one up and then from there we're going to continue forward down here on the uh, shoreline and the next one is going to be right where we uh, picked her up for the first time so head over here and the next camera is going to be right here and then next up we need to uh, go ahead and pick her up so we can uh, head back the way we came now and uh, let me see where's she gonna be she's gonna be in the uh, she's gonna be in an alley all the way over here so just head down this way and basically go back the way we came so uh, head past the uh, heliport and whatnot and we're kind of kind of going towards the uh, the noodle shop but not all the way there so head back down this uh, road here and uh, eventually she's gonna be over on the uh, left side in like a secret little courtyard right over here so continue down here and then you're gonna turn left into this little secret area right here and we can go ahead and pick her up and then as usual just take her to the uh, destination and I will pick up the commentary once we get there no time to talk we're going live get me to the three-pointed forts okay no cameras audio only going live in three two one Good afternoon. I'm coming to you live from the KCW Chopper with tonight's traffic report. It looks like it's going to be a slow one. The city is out for the big game, and that means big waves. Stay tuned, and no need to scramble. We're on top of all the news all the time. KCW 9, we got this. And cut. Oh my, that was a close one. Thank goodness there are no cameras, no one saw me sweat. Got your newsman back yet? Oh yes, we got a new one going live in three, two, one. All right, so now we need to go pick up some more cameras. So we're going to head back towards the uh, dock area a bit. But before we do that, we need to pick up a camera that's sort of in the city area. So we're going to uh, head down this road here and then we're going to take a right. And we're going to drive down this road for a super long time. So drive all the way down the road. And then eventually, once we get to the... Uh, 
to the end, we're going to take a left turn. So bear with me for a second. Just uh, keep driving down the road for a bit. And then eventually, once we get up here, we're going to take a left turn and then a right turn. And we're going to continue forward for a long time. So continue forward for a bit again. And then eventually, we're going to take another left turn. So keep going forward. And then we're going to take a left turn and we're going to be in this grassy tree area. And we actually need to boost up top onto this uh, building right over here. So you can see the green scaffolding. Jump up here and pick up this uh, camera right here in front of us. So you can see I just jumped up from that grassy area down there. So go ahead and pick up this camera. And now we need to continue forward. And we're going to take a right turn sort of down towards the uh, shoreline. And the next camera is going to be on the far left side of the shoreline. So continue forward down here. Take a left turn. And the camera is going to be down here on the uh, far left corner. So go ahead and pick this one up. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to drive to the heliport. So turn around and basically just follow the uh, shoreline until we get to the uh, little heliport or the pier, I guess you could call it. So uh, head down here and take a left turn. And over by these red tanks is going to be the next uh, camera. So uh, over here by this single red tank is going to be the uh, camera. And now we need to go ahead and pick up Emma again. So I believe, let me see. She's going to be at the uh, basketball court. So now we're going to head all the way back to the uh, basketball court. So basically just follow the uh, shoreline as usual. And then uh, we're going to go pick her up. So just follow this uh, road here. And I really probably don't even need to tell you guys where to go at this point. You probably already remember, but I'm going to just keep telling you anyways. So just follow this uh, main road here. And uh, let's see if I take the secret little shortcut. So follow this road and take the uh, little secret shortcut right here. And then we should be at the uh, construction zone here and continue down this uh, road. And eventually we're going to come to the, uh, the noodle shop and we're going to go through the uh, grassy area. So head through here and take the uh, little alley back here and then take a right turn and continue down this uh, road here. And then eventually we're going to take a right turn and then we're going to go to the uh, basketball court over here. So head down this road here. And then we're going to take a left turn. And then at the uh, basketball court over here, we're going to pick up Emma. So head over here and then uh, pick her up and go ahead and take her to the uh, location. So she's going to be on the uh, corner right here. So go ahead and pick her up and then uh, take her to the destination. And I will pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so once you drop Emma off, we're going to get the achievement called Breaking News for completing Emma's questline, and that achievement is going to be worth 25 gamer score. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and do Mr. Marino's questline. So once this achievement's done popping, we're going to continue forward, and then we're going to take a right turn. So continue forward here, and then we're going to take a right turn, and we're going to head down this road all the way to the end, and then we're going to take like a left turn, and we're going to take a shortcut through the... Uh, little area over here so head down here and then take a left turn and use this little shortcut right here and then continue forward down the road take like a slight right turn onto the road here and then continue forward for a bit and we're going to take a right turn right here and then we're going to take a left turn and then we're going to head forward and uh just keep heading forward down here and then eventually we're going to take the uh, left turn kind of going towards the uh, basketball court so continue forward all the way down here and then again, eventually, we're going to take the uh, first left turn right here. So head down here. And then uh, we're going to jump into the uh, basketball court area right up here. So jump up here. And then we're going to take this left turn right here. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and pick up mr marino or whatever his name is over here in the corner so go ahead and pick this guy up and then take him to his uh destination again just follow the uh, red arrow and i will pick the commentary back up once we get there All right, so now we need to get some toolboxes for Mr. Marino. So head forward, jump up here, and then we're gonna continue down this road for a bit. So continue uh, heading straight. And I believe we're gonna drive all the way down to the end of the road. And then once we get to the end, we're gonna take a ride through a little secret alleyway. So take a right here and head through this alleyway. And then we're gonna take a left turn and we're gonna follow this road all the way down to the uh, Sinatra movie theater or whatever it is. So. Head down here, and then on the uh, corner of this building here, up the staircase, is going to be the uh, toolbox. So go ahead and pick that one up. Again, that's right next to the uh, Sinatra Cinema or whatever it is. So pick that one up, and then we're going to head down this uh, road here. We're going to go straight towards the uh, park area right here, and then we're going to uh, go into the park. And the next one's going to be on the uh, road over here to the left under the bridge. So drop down here into the uh, road area, and right here under this bridge is going to be the next toolbox. And then from there, I guess we're going to turn around and we're going to follow this road here. And then we're going to take a right turn and then we're going to follow this road all the way down. And uh, eventually we're going to get to the uh, next toolbox over here in like an alleyway. So head up here and then go up this uh, little staircase here. And then to the right, you're going to turn into an alleyway. And on the other side here is going to be the next toolbox. So go ahead and pick that one up. And then just behind us, we need to pick up the uh, Mr. Marino guy again. <clears throat> so head up this uh, staircase here and then uh, turn to your left and pick him up again. And as usual, just take him to the uh, destination. And then I'll pick up the commentary once we get there. All right, so now we need to get some more toolboxes. So we're gonna continue forward down this uh, road here. So head forward down this road, and then we're gonna take a right turn. And the toolbox is actually gonna be gonna be right over here in this little grassy area next to this tree. So go ahead and pick that one up right there on the corner of that building. And then from there we can continue down the uh, road here to the left. So head forward down this road here, and then take a left turn. And we're gonna drive past the uh, left side of the noodle shop here into a secret alleyway. So. Head past the uh, noodle shop here into this alleyway right here. And then we're gonna take a left turn here. And then we're gonna go forward. And uh, right over here between these two buildings is gonna be a top secret like little alleyway. So head in here and the uh, next toolbox is gonna be up top on this uh, ledge up here. Apologies, I think I ended up failing this jump twice. So sorry about that guys, just uh, bear with me here for a second. Just uh, jump up here, make your way up here and pick up this uh, toolbox here. And now we only need one more collectible, so just uh, jump over this uh, little gate here, turn to the left, and then take a right. And we're gonna head down this road here all the way forward for a bit, and then we're gonna take the uh, first left turn, and we're gonna go towards the uh, basketball court. So take a left turn here, and then uh, jump up towards the uh, basketball court on the right here. And you can actually see the toolbox up there on the roof, but uh, we can't uh, get it just yet. So we're gonna turn to the left, and then turn to the right and head up this staircase here. And we need to get on this building here like the uh, usual route that we take. So jump up here, jump up here, and then turn around and jump across to this building. 
and then we need to jump across to the uh, the next set so jump across over here and then we're gonna turn to the left and the uh, final toolbox or the final collectible is gonna be right here so now we need to pick up mr. Marino again or whatever his name is and he's gonna be behind us in the uh, usual spot so turn around drop down here and then uh, head up the stairs and go ahead and pick him up all right, so that's basically it. Just go ahead and pick him up and then uh, deliver him to the destination. And that should be it. That's all of your uh, collectibles. And this should be the last character quest lane that you need. So that's basically it, guys. Leave a like on the video if it was helpful. And please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Since I worked very hard on this video, it took me forever to find all of the uh, character locations and the collectibles and whatnot. So I worked very hard on this video. And again, if it was helpful, I'd appreciate it very much if you guys left a like and whatnot. And maybe even leave me a comment. Let me know I got you all of your collectibles and your character quest lines and whatnot. I'd appreciate that very much. But uh, chances are you guys are still missing some more achievements. So I'm actually going to have other guides on my channel for this game as well. Like the uh, how to reach the uh, highest point in the map or whatever. Just any achievement you can think of, I'll probably have a guide on it on my channel so just uh keep an eye out for that so once you drop this guy off you're gonna get the uh plumbing the depths achievement for completing mr marino's quest line for uh 25 gamer score so that's it guys thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time